My third message, my friends, is always to remember that there is a viable alternative to the regime. Never believe the propaganda from the regime, again, far too often repeated in our Western nations, that the only alternative to the regime is chaos. I'm not here to tell the Iranian people who their government should be. That is for them to decide in open and free elections. But there are alternatives. I am signatory, also a signatory, to that open letter supported by over 100 former presidents, prime ministers, and leaders from around the world that offers comprehensive policy recommendations to all governments on the matter of Iran. It highlights the missing link of Western policy toward Iran. That is the failure to reach out to organize Iranian resistance and to support viable alternatives to the regime. It is time to end the decades of silence and inaction by the international community that have helped fuel a culture of violence and impunity among the mullahs and their henchmen. It is time to hold the leadership of the Islamic Republic accountable for its crimes. It is time to stand in solidarity with the people of Iran in their desire for a free, secular, and democratic state. Friends, that is the future that you, the National Council of Iran, have consistently and tirelessly advocated. A commitment to free elections, freedom of assembly and expression, pluralism and the rule of law, human rights and gender equality, the separation of religion and state, and the autonomy of Iran's ethnic minorities, and of course, a non-nuclear state at peace with the world. That is your vision, and it is worth fighting for.